Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here with our hammer and our driver just like this, and we're going to loosen these up a little bit. Next thing we're going to do now, we're going to come in the back and we're going to take out that 14 millimeter and this 14 millimeter here. You want to loosen both of them first before you before you take the two of them out. You want to loosen them up. This piston here looks like I went in most of the way. But I'm going to push it in. I'm going to show you how that tool works anyway. And you're probably looking at these saying, why are you changing these brake pads? This one looks pretty decent, right? The other side was ground. You know what? Let me grab the brake pad. I'll, uh, I'll show you what it looked like. Um, like I said, you're looking at that brake pad thinking, wow, this brake pad looks pretty good. Why is this guy doing this? Because, uh, you know, it's, it's nothing wrong with it. Well, this side here, as you can see, it is destroyed. It actually ground into the rotor and destroyed the rotor. This indicator here is the same as this indicator here. But as you can see, this one is missing a piece. This indicator was, was not touching yet, but this one touched the rotor, ground down far enough that it actually caused this piece right in the back right here to twist up and snap off. So uh, that's why I'm changing it, because rust is a very big issue. I'm going to talk to you about the rust inside here. Very important that you get that rust out of there because look at these shoes. They still look like half the life left on them where the other side was no good. So rust is a real big issue. Make sure there's no rust in there. Make sure you change your hardware kit. Fairly cheap. It'll save you a headache. Um, also make sure you lubricate your slide pins. That's very important too. If the slide pins are not lubricated, they're going to stay applied and it's going to wear out the brakes quicker. All right. So now let's, uh, let's just make sure that this piston is all the way in as far as it can go. We put these pads in here like this, and like this. And then we take our tool. Put it in here like this. Let me set it up here. See how it works? It just pushes that piston all the way back into the bore as far as it can go. It was a little bit that it went in, not much. So it was pretty, pretty, pretty far in already. All right, and we'll take the brake pads and we'll put them off to the side for now. Remember, we're not going to let the road, the uh, caliper dangle. We're going to hang it up and out of the way, just like that. And I will take off that melting bracket. We're going to take out those two bolts in the back that we previously saw. So the screws, you don't want to lose them. And now these pieces here, you just put your thumbs in here and you pull it and it comes right out. Same thing up underneath here comes right out. And the part that I was telling you about that's, that's all corroded or, or rusted or whatever you want to say, it gets all rusted inside here. You need to clean all that rust out of there, here and here, so that it's a nice clean surface. I'm going to take this over to the wheel and I'm going to clean it up. But if you don't have, if you don't have a, a wheel, um, a grinder like I do here at the shop, you can get in here with a file like this and just file it like that to clean this up, just like that. So you, you take all the rust off. We're going to clean up this surface, this surface, this surface, this surface, and inside here as well. All right, right here. Make sure that this is clean. 
all of these surfaces, wherever the brake pad is going to go, you got to make sure it's clean. So let me go over there, I'm going to clean this up, and we'll come back to this in just a minute. But the rotor now we're going to take off. And this part in here is very important that this is clean of rust, no rust on here. If there's any rust in here and you put this back together, you're going to get a pulsating pedal. This one is nice and clean, so we don't have to worry about that. We're going to take our new uh, rotor, put it on so that the screw holes here line up. I will point this out. This has already been cleaned off. I use brake cleaner on it already to clean it. We're going to go back and take our two Phillips head screws and screw them in like this. You're going to screw them both in before you tighten anything up. Tight now. now, as long as you tighten these up fairly tight, you're okay. You don't have to torque them or anything like that. You just put them in just the way that they are. All right. Um, all right. Let me go over to the bench. I'm going to clean this up on the wheel, and then we'll go right back. Okay. So now we, what we do is we we, we installed our new hardware in here just like this here. This one I actually cleaned up already and uh, you put a little bit of lubricant down where the hardware is going to go. You take your hardware kit, you push it in and it snaps in place just like that. Now if you're not sure if it's down all the way, you can just get in here. Just tap it and you'll know you're in all the way. Alright, now we're going to we're going to lubricate these slide pins here. You're going to do one at a time because as you take it out, it goes back in the same location it came out. So we're going to take this out. We're going to get some brake cleaner, which is on this rag. Clean it off like this. Nice and clean. Put a very slight bead of silicone on here. You don't need a whole lot of it. And you make sure it goes back in the same location it came out. That little lip right there, that rubber boot has to make sure it snaps up into that, that little piece. And you see how it snapped in there? If it doesn't snap in, water gets in there and it'll actually rust in the, the slide pin right in its location. Alright, we'll do the same thing with this one here. We just pull it out. We sprayed this rag again with silicone. I mean the brake cleaner. Clean it all off. Just a little bit of silicone like this. Now on this one you have a rubber little boot on the end right here. You don't want to put any grease on this end because it will create a, uh, a pushback where the, where the grease gets in, in this side over here and it actually pushes the, the slide pin back out. Okay, and make sure your slide pin goes back in the same location. Again, make sure it pops all the way up, which it did all the way on top like that. And now, every place that the brake pad is going to touch, you're going to put a little bit of the synthetic grease, just like this. Every place that the brake pad touches. See? Now, we remember that this one was the inner, because that's where our, our, our indicator is. See? If this was the other side, this clip would actually be on this end over here. All right, so make sure you put the correct one in the correct location. We know it's the inside pad because that's where the piston is touching. So we know this one here is the inside. Put it in here just like this. And it moves nice and freely just like it's supposed to. Now you can put these brake pads in later on once they're in the car. I usually do them here because it's just a little bit easier. And that's how it goes. 
now we're going to put it back over the top like this. Squeeze your brake pads together, just like that. Sorry about that. Okay. Now we're going to catch both of these bolts in there before we do anything. We're going to catch both of them in there in the mounting bracket. Okay, we are going to torque these bolts on just so you know, but that's just a temporary thing. I'm going to look it up now. We'll torque them and we'll come right back. All right, so now that we have everything torqued, we're going to reinstall our caliper and we're going to put a slight bead of silicone on every place that touches into the brake pan. Just a little bit, it doesn't have to be a lot. Every place that touches the brake pan. Now we'll take this and put it over the top. Make sure your slide pin is turned correctly. We're going to catch both 14 millimeter bolts. We're going to catch them both by hand first before we tighten anything up. Okay, that's it. So let's explain what we did. We put our new rotor on. We screwed in these two bolts here, nice and tight, the Phillips head. We made sure that the face where the rotor fits onto was nice and clean. We put our mounting bracket back on. We tightened up those two 18 or 17 millimeter bolts in the back. We installed our new brake hardware kit. We lubricated every place that the brake pad is going to touch including the mounting bracket here and here and the piston in the back right there and then we tightened up our two bolts in the back that hold the caliper to the mounting bracket. That's it, you're done.